you ever looked in the mirror and thought, damn, I actually look good today? But the moment someone snaps a random photo of you, you look at it and think, bro, how did I ever think I was attractive? I look terrible. Same face, same lighting, same you. But the mirror says attractive, and the camera says, who is that? And that confusion you feel? It's not your fault. Here's the mind-blowing part. Both of them are lying to you. In the next few minutes, I'll show you the real reason you look worse in pictures than in the mirror. And once you understand it, you'll never see your face the same way again. Why camera photos are fake. Let me start with a harsh truth. Your camera has never shown you your real face, not even once. Because when you click a picture, your phone is not capturing your face. It's rebuilding it. Modern phones never show the raw image. They instantly throw AI at your face, sharpening it, smoothing it, brightening it, adding contrast, fixing shadows, basically rewriting your entire look in milliseconds. You know how some phones can photograph the moon perfectly? That's literally fake. The phone sees a blurred white circle, and the AI creates a detailed moon photo from its database. If it can fake the moon, you really think it won't fake your skin? And it gets worse. Every brand uses a different algorithm. Samsung boosts sharpness. iPhone warms your skin tone. OnePlus adds clarity and contrast. Each one shows a different version of your face. That means you don't have one selfie face. You have 10, depending on the phone. So remember this. Even your most beautiful selfie is technically artificial. Why the mirror is also lying to you. And if you think, okay, fine, cameras are fake, but at least the mirror is real. Bro, no. Your mirror has been lying to you since day one. Most mirrors distort your face without you even noticing. Cheap mirrors bend slightly. Gym mirrors are deliberately stretched so your physique looks bigger. Clothing stores literally use slimming mirrors to make you feel fit and buy more clothes. And if your room gets hot, even a normal mirror can warp. Your face becomes wider, flatter, or longer, depending on the temperature. But here's the biggest punch in the gut. The mirror flips your face. You don't see your real face. You see the inverted version you're addicted to. That's why photos look wrong to you. You're comparing the real world to a flipped version of your brain that thinks it's normal. You're judging yourself based on a version of you that doesn't even exist. Lighting. The biggest reason you look ugly in photos, the reason you look good in the mirror and horrible in photos, is because of lighting. At home, your face gets soft, even light. It hides texture, smooth skin, and reduces shadows. That's why you look clean, sharp, and attractive. But step outside. Harsh light exposes everything. Dark circles, pores, asymmetry, uneven tones, instant downgrade. This is why group photos at school school or college ruin your mood. Overhead lights punch shadows under your eyes and nose, making you look tired and uneven, even if you looked fine at home. Here's the rule. Diffused light equals flattering. Direct sunlight equals brutal. Your face didn't change. The light did. The final realization. And here's the part that hits the deepest. You will never know your 100% real face, because everything you trust lies. Mirrors distort you. Cameras process you. Lighting changes you. Algorithms rewrite you. Lenses reshape you. And even your own eyes tweak reality to make sense of it. So stop trying to find that one perfect version of your face. Because the truth is simple. There is no single real you. Your face changes with conditions. The 90% accurate method. So if there's no 100% real version of your face, how do you at least get close? Grab your phone, switch to the front camera, and hold your arm fully extended as far as it can go. Now take the photo in evening light or on a cloudy day. This soft, diffused light gives your face natural shadows, true skin tone, and no harsh contrast. Make sure the background is simple and turn off everything. No filters, no HDR, no beauty mode. This setup removes lens distortion, fixes lighting imbalance, and gives you the closest version to how you actually look. Why only 90%? Because even your own eyes distort reality. So 100% accuracy is impossible for anyone. If this opened your eyes and finally explained why you look different in every mirror and every photo, hit subscribe right now. And trust me, the next video will level you up even more. So subscribe, join the family, 